can do handwriting readings? Today we are on a city tour, the city of Kumasi. Kumasi is made up of 11 kingdoms. And thus, 11 kingdoms, it was a separate areas. They live in separate areas. And history tells us that, and legend also says that, there was a woman who gave birth to a baby. And when the baby came out, his arms were closed. So they tried to open the palm to see why. And then they found a curry shell in the palm. Uh, in the olden days, that's about 200, 300 years, 400 years ago, even 100 years ago, when you give birth to a child, they take him to a place to inquire of his profession. So this guy, they took him to a place to inquire of his profession, and then they interpret that. Uh, he is someone who is coming to liberate a certain group of people. When he grew up, he started performing wonders. And it is beyond the thinking of the elderly at that time. So they took him to a place called Aukugwa in the eastern region. Aukugwa. So that he will be taught in the royal priesthood. And he went through that and he performed a lot of wonders. Some of the wonders that he performed is that he took a palm nut, five palm nuts, threw up and all came and lied down on a straight line. Looks as if there's a ruler or line has been ruled. And he said, those are human fingers. As the palm fruit view. This will be shorter. The middle one will be longer. This one will be this. This one will be that. They thought he was joking. And when it grew up, it happened like human fingers. Right now, when you see, it's like human fingers. And they are apart like this. Like, you see, when you close your palm, it's like this. And you can see it like this way. That man is called Okonfu Anochi. Okonfanochi came to this area from Aokuba and then he got to the chief's palace, one of the chief's palace. And he said, I have been sent by the ancestors to bring all the 11 kingdoms together. Now, I'm telling you the reason why the Ashantis are very warriors. The Ashantis are warriors. Yes. Yeah. And they are business like. Yeah. So when he came down, he befriended the chief. Yes. And then one day he assembled all the 11 kingdom chiefs and their spokesmen. And he said he has been sent to bring all of them together. Unify team. Then they all accepted. In the process of that, he told them that they should go and fast for one month. Fast for one month. And in Ashanti Kingdom, when they come here, there is a, a period that they do fasting to seek uh, uh, guidance and protection from God. That is during their, before their festival. And the festival is called Akwesidae. And the big ones called Akwesidae Kesi. So he sat all of them down. And then he told them that he wanted to unite all of them. At that time, there was another stronger warlord more than the Ashantis. And these people are known as Dentura. Dentures. The dangerous to our stronger warlords. When they were controlling Ashanti, at every year, Ashantis have to uh, go and give the dangerous gold, clay, um, a whole lot of things as an indemnity because we are in charge now. A dangerous man can come to Ashanti here 
and pick any woman, whether you are married or not, they don't care. So they were ruling them. And when this, uh, I, I, people call them fetish priests, they are not fetish. Or not people, but the white men call them fetish priests. They are not fetish, but they are traditional priests. Traditional priests. So he invited a lot of them. They, all of them were in one place. He told them they should go and fast for one month. And one person will be selected by the ancestors to be the leader of all the 11 uh, chiefs. Then they will choose one place as the paramount chief. One, a, one person as the paramount chief and then one area as the capital of the Ashanti kingdom. All of them agreed, they went, they fasted, and everybody was praying that it would be selected by the ancestors. Now, the last day falls on Friday. So here on Friday, there is no farming. They don't have the ocean, they have the forest. So they go to farm. On Fridays, nobody's supposed to go to farm. So on that Friday, all of them met at a place which is closer to a cemetery. <laughs> And that cemetery, it is the very only chiefs and prominent people. Uh -huh. They all met there, waiting for the traditional priest to come. They were there and they heard drumming, dancing, drumming, dancing. All of a sudden, the weather became very tense, like as if it's going to rain. And then the traditional priest appeared, dancing here and there, here and there. And then he go to a spot, he stopped and started giving some commands. So all of a sudden, something from the skies, according to legend and history, mm -hmm. fell on one of the chief's laps, meaning that ancestors have selected that person to become the leader of all the 11 chiefs. And that person is known as Nana Osei Tutu, they're not say to do. So there are a lot of people when they are coming to Kumasi, they will say Kumasi said, I'm going to Osei Kru. Osei Kru means no, not Osei to do town. I'm going to Osei Kru. Everybody was very happy that one person has been selected. The man is very, very wise person. So what he did was that he collected black stool. Every chief has a black stool. Black stool is when your predecessor passed on, the seat that he always sits on to adjudicate, they will paint the stool black and put it in a stool room in the palace. So one each and everyone brought his uh, black stool. He split it with axe. He had... Um, ask them to bring their fingernails not their finger their fingernails cut three pieces of their fingernails and then the hair your fingernails and your hair is part of your spirit bent all together and then at the end of it all became ashes he asked for palm wine the palm wine is a wine that is getting from the palm tree is the only on treated wine you can get in the world. No hands touch it before it gets into your stomach. I'll talk about it later. Please. So he asked for palm wine, they brought the palm wine, collected the ashes, add to it, mix it thoroughly, and gave it to all the living chiefs to sip. A very wise person. If it were to be in the modern days, we we'll say let's append our signature. Everybody have to sign that I agree. Right. So in the olden days, because there is nothing like signature, everybody had to take something into the body that you have accepted. If you are not in agreement of it, you will not take it. But everybody took it. So that is the beginning of the unification of the Ashanti kingdom. The rest the, the the one that was left, he dug ground and buried it and gave a prophecy that what he has put on the ground, it's a medicine that some years to come, 
is going to help a lot of people, even people coming from outside. Just said it. Over four, five, four hundred years later, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah wasn't there at that time. He doesn't need when they were selecting a place to build a hospital. That was the place that they selected. And the place that he dug and buried the residue, he has a sword, a bronze sword. He placed a bronze sword on it and also prophesied that no human effort in this world will be able to assume the sword. If they exhume the sword, that will be the collapse of the Ashanti kingdom. Eleven Ashanti case souls are underneath holding the sword. The sword is still there now, visible that you can see. When they were about to build, construct the hospital, one of the foundation is just exactly on where the sword is. They try several times to exhume the sword. Even sometimes using earth moving machines, they will dig around it, try to pull it, the machine will get spoiled. They bring another one to get spoiled. They dig around it, the more you dig around, the more it goes down. And up to now, no one has been able to exhume it, and the sword is still there. Wow. That you wow. can see right now. Wow. And they built a hospital there. So his prophecy that he said that uh, what he has put on the ground is going uh -huh. to heal a lot of people came to pass. Uh -huh. Ashanti here. Okonfanochi did a lot of wonders. Now, after Everybody has accepted that Nono Osaiti II should be the paramount chief, the king of Ashanti kingdom. There was another thing. Our elders are very, very wise. Wise saying is very good. We call it proverbs. Yes. What he did was that after everybody is, has accepted where are we going to use as the home for our paramount chief or the king? Where is he going to stay? Now we have 11, now 11 has been unified. All of us have agreed that this person has been chosen. So we need a place to use it as a capital. What he did that was that he planted a tree. I don't know the botanical name, but it's known as the kum tree a kum tree and he planted at the two places and he said the tree that he has planted one will germinate one will die <coughs> the one that will die meaning the ancestors doesn't want that place to be the capital where this one germinates meaning ancestors have chosen that place to be the capital of the kingdom So he planted one at, it's just behind us, and then another one at a place called Kumeu. Kumeu means that the tree that he planted is dead. They did not do well, so it's gone. So the Kum tree is dead. That's the meaning of that tree. Kumeu, Kum Piano Ewu. That's what we say, kum piano ewu, so kum ewu. The one that it did well is called kum esi. Kum esi. Kum, when they say esi, meaning it has germinated. The kum tree has germinated. Hence the name kumasi. So kumasi means the tree that was planted by Konfanochi has grown and did well. So that is the meaning of Kumasi and then Kumu. The people are very good in trade and commerce. Trade and commerce. Formerly, Ashanti man or woman will not go to school. 
Why? Because even when you go to school, no matter who you are, why are you going to school? It's because of money. Yeah. You want to get more money, that's why you're going to school. To educate yourself. So if you are going to be in school for five, ten years, he's going to start his trade five, ten years. By the time you come out of school, you are a doctor, you are whatever, he has money more than you. And they are very good in trade and commerce. Ashantis and then Kwawu, they, 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 they are very close. So as you come around here, you will see people selling everything that they're supposed to sell. The only thing that they are not selling here is human being. It is a human being. After that, everything that you see. And I don't know whether you have realized that you will see our ladies putting things on their head, carrying to sell. If you don't have any skill at all in this world, you are not skillful, you haven't learned anything, you can go into trading. With a little money, go to the shops, buy in quantity, put it on your head, go around, and then you sell, you make your money. So you, as you are seeing them, they are very, very good in trade and business, uh, commerce. They know how to persuade you to get that item. Oh yes. <laughs> and I can assure you that where we are going to drive past and stop at a certain villages, whatever it takes them for you to buy their goods, they will do that. They, will, they can convince you. They can convince you to buy their way. So this is Ashanti Kingdom. And then we are going to Bonmire. Bonmire is where Kente started. Kente is a hand weaving cloth. Nowadays, the Chinese try to imitate, but you know, imitation is different from the original. And they were not able to do that. So they came out with a machine and they print Kente. But it's a machine print. Um, like the one that Lady Sass is wearing, is a machine print. It's a machine print. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's a that is a twenty year old girl. Oh. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lady Sass. My pleasure. So we are going there, and we have an exhibition center. We will go to the exhibition center. And then please bargain with them. Okay. Uh, if you want a bigger kente, please let me know. Uh, the next place that we will be going, uh, the cost is very moderate. Where we are going is a tourist center. It's a tourist center. That are that one I have to tell you. Then from there we we'll go to another place um, that is called uh, Nkonso. And we're going to try our hands in stamping a piece of cloth. So I'll talk to you when you get closer to that place. So far, are there any questions?